Namaste. I'm Rishabh and in this video, we will do what we pretty much do in every video, albeit in a different manner. If you remember, in the previous four episodes, we tried and cover all the four major Taals. Teen Taal, Ek Taal, Rupak, Jhap Taal. You know, the big four that you will hear in almost every recording that you listen to. We tried covering these rhythm cycles, these Taals, in a bit of detail. From this video onwards, what we'll try to do is that, of course, we'll listen to a lot of fun recordings. But what we're going to do is that we're going to pause. We are going to try and pause at every other minute and try and dissect even further what is happening in these recordings with a special focus on the Taals that we discussed in the previous four videos. By the way, if you haven't checked out the recordings of the four Taals, please do go check them out because you might not end up understanding what we're discussing in this video or in the following videos for that matter. So I'll put up a link, go check those videos out. In this recording, we'll try and break down a wonderful, wonderful Tarana in Rag Hamsidhwani by Begum Parveen Sultana, the evergreen Begum Parveen Sultana. Upon the request of Pandit Vishwa Mohan Bhatt, the world famous uh, Mohan Veena player, so let's go ahead with the recording. This is the beginning all up going on. So this is the beginning all up going on and I really want you to appreciate from where the Tarana takes off and the Teen Tal begins. So we'll keep a focus on the Teen Tal for this video. A uh, short video, just a 3-4 minute video. So Pish, try and appreciate the range also, I mean it's, it's crazy. Look how far away from the mic she's sitting and it's still so audible. Of course, there's sound engineering which goes into producing these videos. But the voice culturing of these great artists, is it's so on point that all the voice is produced, none of it is produced from the throat. So there's no, of course, the throat muscles are used, but the strain does not go on the throat. The force is from the belly up, from the chest up. It's, it's honestly... <laughs> Touching the upper pa, the upper pancham. Voice modulation. Akar. Andolan. Just the alap itself gains an applause from the audience. <laughs> oh. In the crowd is uh, Pandit Vishwamohan Bhatt and then uh, there was, I think, Pandit Sanju Sahai in the crowd also. Okay, so now the composition's begun. The Tarana has begun in Rag Hamsadhani. But we will focus on the Tal because that is what we've discussed in the previous four videos. So now try and focus on the Tal, what is happening in the rhythm cycle. So if you hear the Tabla, first of all, the Tabla is tuned on the tonic. So, uh, sa. so Tabla is going on something like, so this is a 16 beat cycle. So this rhythm cycle is going something on the lines of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's fixed on the tonic. So the, the tune of the tabla, the tone of the tabla, or the scale of the tabla is fixed on the tonic, the sa. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1. <laughs> and on top of that, we add the bowl, the lyric of the tal, which sounds something like Tha din din da da din din da na tin tin na din din da da din din da da din din da. So try and appreciate this, the tabla going on in the background. And on top of that, you of course have the composition going on. So let's go ahead. Tabla going. So the tabla going on and on top of that we have the composition. In the middle of all this, don't forget to appreciate the sum, the tali, the khali. So if you're not understanding all of this, go watch the teen tal video and then come back to this. Sargam Tan. Ending with a Tihai in a Sargam Tan. Amazing. So that was Begum Parveen Sultana singing Rag Hamsudhwani, a Tarana in Rag Hamsudhwani in Teen Tal. We tried to keep our focus on Teen Tal and we tried to go into a little bit of depth. The depth that we discussed four videos back in a video on Teen Tal that we did. But I really hope that this video helped you get into a little bit of more detail uh, into Indian classical music through the world of rhythm cycles or Tals. So that was it for this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, Namaste.